Week 13, Problem 10. A monochromatic beam of light is absorbed by a collection of ground state hydrogen atoms in such a way that six different wavelengths are absorbed when the hydrogen relaxes back to the ground state. What is the wavelength of the instant beam? Okay, we can do this. So I'm going to draw myself some... Nope. Nope, get rid of that guy. Hmm, that's not a very creative looking line. Let's go blue and make it thicker. There we go. And maybe a darker blue. There we go. And then I'm going to copy him. So if we have, so this is going to be our states. We're going to have the ground state, call this guy one. I'm going to have a first excited state, call it two. All right. So we know we have six different wavelengths. So starts in the ground state, goes up to here. It's then going to drop down. Hmm. I can make that a fancy arrow. I'm going to make that a fancy arrow. Ooh, that's fancy enough. Nope. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. I think that dot is ruining my... There we go. So goes up to one energy level, comes down once. That's all, because it can only go one place, all right? So then we're going to have another energy level, a bit higher, though not as high as the other one. And now the energy can drop down to two places. It can drop here to there. Oh, what just happened? There we go. There we go. So if it goes up to third level, it can either drop down one or it can drop down two. And when I have to drop down one, it can drop down again. So that gives us one, two, three different wavelengths we can get. Okay. So then we're going to have another. So three, not high enough yet. We need six. So we're going to keep going. So it could go a little bit higher even. And it could go up to the third level, or it could drop down one, or hmm. Nope, that one's already been done. Ah, it could drop down like that. There we go. All right. So here's what happened then. So this will be, and then it'll be the this will be the fourth state, or third excited. So this will be first excited, second excited, third excited. So the concept here is we had a photon, change colors to make it emphasized, Ooh, green, came in, photon, hit an electron, and it jumped to some to some excited state. So it jumped to the first state, the only place it can drop is drop down to one. Okay? If it dropped to the second excited state, it could drop down to either the uh, second state or back down to the ground state at one. Um, and if it dropped down, after it dropped down to the first, it can then drop down again, or drop down to the second state, it can then drop down to the first state. So if the electron made it all the way up to the fourth state, it could then drop down to three separate places, either the third, the second, or the first. So, and then once it got to the third, second, or first, it could then, or third or second, it could then drop down once again to the second or the first. And then once it got to the second, it could drop down from second to one. And each of these transitions is going to be a different wavelength of light. So if we have six different wavelengths. We're going to have one, two. So this is going to be one. That's going to be two. That's going to be three. That's going to be four. That's going to be five. That's going to be six. Six different possible wavelengths. So what is the wavelength of the incident beam? Okay. So this is the photon. And we know it needs to make it all the way up to the fourth level. So Google spectrum of hide ooh, conflict. <laughs> hmm, not quite. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, so this is a alignment series. Start with one, and we go up to four. I'm going to look at this guy because it makes it easier to understand. At least for me it does. Because that way I don't get confused with state versus excited state versus ground state. All right, so it starts at one, and it goes to four. So this is four. So that's going to be 97 nanometers 97 nanometers so 
97 nanometers. Another way to figure this out is we know that we're at energy state four, we started at energy state one, so this would be 13.6, um, um, and really it'd be reversed. Um, I this I ignore the signs and I just let the uh, and I know the kind of result that I want. So I know there's going to be a 13.6 and a um, uh, uh, n squares involved. Which gives us 13.6 over, this is 16 over, so 16 sixteenths minus 1 sixteenth, which is 15 sixteenths. Which in the end is going to give us 90, I should check this out. All right, 13.6 times 15 over 16. This will see if I'm correct, 12.75, okay? Which gives us 12.75, did you say 75? It said 75. 75 electron volts. So energy equals HC over lambda. Lambda equals, hmm, HC over E, yep, okay, which is one, two, four, zero electron volt nanometers over 12.75 electron volts, cancel, cancel, 1240 divided by this. 1240 divided by answer, and this gives me 97.25. Okay, bam, so true. Yes, I concur. So, 97 nanometers, 97. 97 and 0.25 because I calculated it out and I'm proud of that. All right, explain the steps to your solution. I would take this picture and draw it. Actually, probably could. Actually, if you want to be a real jerk, I would just do a print screen, put that into paint, and then copy it in. And then when the teacher sees like six different people with the exact same, yeah, I probably don't want to do that. Don't want to, don't want to get in trouble with the academic integrity such. So don't want to create evidence. But I just draw this exact same picture. I'd be like, well, this explains it. Which it kind of does. All right, what is the longest wavelength in the emission spectrum of these atoms? Um, I'm just going to interpret that as what's the longest wavelength that's given off here? So longest wavelength is smallest energy. And so each of these steps gets smaller and smaller. So the smallest energy is going to be between you know, consecutive... Um, energy levels, and it's going to be the top one. So it's going to be between 4 and 3. So between 4 and 3 for hydrogen is, here's 4, here's 3, 1875 nanometers. So it's going to be 1875 nanometers. And looking at this picture, it should be the biggest number that's less than 4. Ah, which it is. Which it is. Okay. To what portion of the electromagnetic spectrum does this belong? Uh, I'll let you guys do that one. Look it up on Google. Google 1875 nanometer spectrum. To what series does it belong? Okay. So for this guy again, this is going to be a Pashkin series. So... Hoshkin. Okay, what is the shortest wavelength? So shortest wavelength, i.e. the most energy, is going to be from 4 to 1. Right, 4 to 1. So it'll be the biggest jump. So that will be from 4 to 1. So 97, oh, that makes sense, 97 nanometers. So basically means all the energy that we put into it is going to be all the energy that comes out. So 97 nanometers. What portion does this belong? Same thing. Just go to Google, electromagnetic spectrum, look up the correct one that applies to whatever they're looking for. To what series does it belong? 
All right. Um, that's a Lyman series. Lyman. Lyman. Bam. And that's the concept behind this guy. It's actually a pretty good problem. It uh, gets a good idea with the concepts and such. So that's how I would approach this problem. And if you give any number different than six, then you can figure it out. Same concept, same idea. All right. That's all you got for number 10. On to problem number 11.